hello there. Dr. Marcus here today to talk about ozone. A lot of people have been asking about it. I am not going to tell you what people use ozone for. What I am going to tell you, though, is what it's officially used for. It's a water purification system. That's what this is officially for. Ozone purifies pretty much anything that it comes in contact with. So I'm going to show you how this works and how to understand it because there are some cheap units out there and they're worthless. So I'm going to show you what a real ozone thing. What is ozone? First of all, what is ozone? Ozone is a very powerful form of oxygen. Oxygen is O2, ozone is O3. When there's a thunderstorm and there's lightning, you actually smell ozone in the air because lightning, which is a super intense, high voltage source of power, zaps the oxygen in the air and turns the oxygen into ozone, O2 into O3. And it just disinfects. What? That's why the rainwater during a lightning storm is the clearest pure water you can get because it's been ozonated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create that today with our water purification system and to show you how to make your own ozone, because this is uh, really cool. It's powerful stuff. All right, first of all, in order to create ozone, you need to start with oxygen, not just air, but pure oxygen. So you have to start to make real ozone. You need a source of pure oxygen. In this case, this is a medical grade oxygen concentrator. This whole system, by the way, is not that cheap. Just right off the bat, this isn't that cheap. Those cheap things you see for $60 or $80, they're worthless. I'll get to that in a second. If you want pure ozone, this is the way to go. See, so either have an oxygen concentrator or an oxygen tank. Oxygen tanks are a hassle because you have to refill them all the time. Here you just turn on the button and it just starts making oxygen. And you'll see there's a little ball here that goes up. You can adjust the flow rate. This is the flow rate meter. It shows you how much oxygen is flowing through the system and out the tube. These are liters per minute. The faster the oxygen flows out of here, the less oxygen concentration you're gonna have. So the lower ones, like the 0.5 to 1 liters per minute, you're getting a good amount of oxygen. You're getting about 96% oxygen. If you increase the flow rate to like three liters per minute, you're getting down to like 90. You kind of want to keep it a little lower in the flow rate so you have more pure oxygen. The higher the flow rate, the less concentrated the ozone is. And if it's too low, you're not going to provide enough oxygen to generate sufficient ozone. But generally, you don't want to get too high in the flow rate of oxygen so that way your ozone can be more concentrated. All right, so this is the oxygen. So the oxygen comes out of this machine and these things you can get used uh, online they range from a couple hundred bucks used to a couple thousand uh, they are like cars they will run down and they will not work after a while so make sure you get one that works now there are two different kinds of uh, oxygen machines be sure you get the constant flow rate one not the pulsed rate one there's portable ones that people can carry around those are pulsed rate, and what they do is they sense you breathing, and they only produce oxygen as you're breathing. And then when you're not when you're not taking a breath, it's not producing oxygen. You can't use that with an ozone system. So pulsed rate will not work. Don't use those little portable ones. No, make sure it's constant flow oxygen. All right, that's why you need this or a tank. That's really important. All right, so you got the ozone coming out of here, out of this tube, and it goes into the ozone generator. And what's inside here is a glass tube that has this super high voltage that creates a little bolt of lightning, just like it does in a thunderstorm. And what it does is it zaps the oxygen and it turns the O2 into O3. So coming out, you're gonna need, now this is a plastic tube because that's just pure oxygen. This is a silicone tube. It used to be clear like this, but see how brown it is? That's because ozone is highly corrosive. It's very, very, very oxidative. It, it, it will, <laughs> it'll oxidate pretty much anything. So it'll wear down even a silicone tube after a while. Look how yellow this is. That's how powerful oxygen, uh, ozone is. All right, so you got oxygen coming in, O2, o, and ozone coming out, O3, and then you put that into a glass of water. So let's do that. Always turn on the oxygen first. Never ever turn on the ozone first because that's, you're creating a bolt of lightning and if there's no flow of air going through, you're gonna fry that machine. So always turn the oxygen on first, set your airflow. I would never go over the halfway mark. And then, then you, once that is going, then you turn on the ozone machine, set your levels accordingly. And then you put, now there's ozone coming out of here right now. 
and you put it in your glass of water. You can smell it. Ne okay, few few things right off the bat. Never inhale ozone directly into your lungs. Bad, 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 bad. Never ever inhale this directly in your lungs. Do not put ozone into a room. Now, now if you have uh, smoke damage or fire or, or there's a smell in the house that you want to get rid of and you want to ozonate, uh, you know, or, or mold or anything like that, you, you can run ozone in your house and have it, uh, you know, ozonate the air and, and kill whatever, you know, bacteria is growing or mold is growing in your house, but you can't be in the house while that's happening. When you come back and you turn the ozone off in your house, you have to open the air, the windows and air. Do never breathe ozone directly into your lungs. Okay, now you're putting it into the water here. The surface area of the bubble is ozonating the water. So th this is a new sili silicon tube. This is new. Look, look at the color difference. This is what it looks like new, and this is what it looks like after you run ozone through it for it. That shows you how powerful ozone is. Anyway, at the end of it, you can just run it into the water like this, but uh, this is actually better. This is actually a, a, a aerating stone. You can get these in uh, fish stores. And what it does is it breaks these bubbles up into tiny, tiny little bubbles so you have more surface area of ozone coming out of here. But you don't need this, but it helps to get more ozone uh, surface area hitting your water. So right now we are ozonating this water. We are disinfecting this water. And you let it run for about five minutes. Five to seven minutes. Now, ozone, like I said, is very powerful. It will kill, disinfect, and neutralize anything that it touches that generally doesn't belong. Uh, also, it will, for, now the idea is to drink this water when it's done, but do not drink ozone water after eating, after taking vitamins, after taking medications, because it will neutralize the vitamins, the nutrients, and the medication. Take this on an empty stomach, uh, I take it when I wake up or of course if you get food poisoning or something like that then take it but because uh, it'll neutralize the food poisoning. Kara had uh, years ago she was really really sick she was throwing up she was miserable she was in a fetal position she just <laughs> she, she was horrible food poisoning and I gave her a glass of ozone water and as she was drinking it she already started feeling better like instantly. Let's say it's been five minutes always turn off the ozone first and then, and then the oxygen. Okay, and then you drink it. Don't breathe this in as you're, as you're drinking it. Drink the whole thing at once because ozone dissipates within 15 minutes. If you buy ozonated water, they used ozone to treat the water, to disinfect it, to neutralize it, to purify the water, but there's no more ozone in there. Ozone is gone after 15 minutes. So if you want the effect of ozone, you have to drink the water within the first five or 10 minutes. Um, and so right now it's going through my body and ozone is heavier than air. It will, like, it will sink. So it'll go right through you. And, um, and it's powerful stuff. These units cost about $600. These are good ones. Now there's different kinds too. I'll get to that in a second. Here's a newer version from the same company. Oxygen in, ozone out. And you set your level. It's pretty simple, on off. And it comes in a nice little case. This is an earlier model. Looks like something out of James Bond, doesn't it? Like a secret, uh, secret spy gadget. Um, but so these are cold corona discharge units. There's also hot corona discharge units, and those are the ones you don't want. So generally used for industrial purposes. They run a lot hotter. Remember, a lightning bolt is super, super hot, and the hotter the temperature is, the more it breaks down the ozone back into oxygen again, and it also can create toxic nitrogen oxides, which you don't want. So the hot ones are generally used for industrial, not medical. The cold corona ones are used more for medical. They run at a much lower temperature. They don't produce the nitrogen oxides and uh, they don't degrade the ozone as much. So these are the ones you want. The cold, make sure it's a cold corona discharge ozone generator. Uh, now as far as those cheap ones that you see, the, the ones that are like $60 or $80 that you put in your refrigerator to uh, absorb the, the odors in your fridge, they generally don't, they, they don't produce oxygen. All they do is suck, the, they, they just take air and they run a little bit of voltage through it. <laughs> Nothing like this. 
and they generally don't do much of anything. They produce so little ozone that it doesn't even do anything. It might kill a few odors. It might make your food last a little bit longer in the fridge, but it doesn't do anything to you. It won't help anything. It won't disinfect your water. It won't kill germs. It won't neutralize your countertop. It won't do anything. So those things are, are worthless. And then there's another type of the cheap one. Uh, they're labeled as ozone generators. And what those are, are basically ionizers or plasma-based units. These primarily uh, create negative ions in tiny, tiny amounts of ozone. Like you can barely even register, if at all, if it produces ozone at all. And they might neutralize some odors or slow down food from spoiling, but nothing else. It's too weak to disinfect anything. So those things are worthless. You need to spend at least, uh, you know, again, these things are $600. This is a couple hundred to a couple thousand. So you're talking a couple thousand dollars for a real ozone setup. Um, uh, this is not a toy. You don't play with this. You can't, don't have children around when this thing is on. You cannot breathe the ozone. It's toxic if you breathe it into your lungs. Use it to disinfect water and then you drink the water. That's okay. That's safe. Don't do this like all the time. Like uh, if you're, if you're really, really sick, I guess you can do it more, but I do this like you know, one glass every morning or every other morning, but don't be drinking like 10 glasses a day every day. That, that's, <laughs> there's, there, you know, balances everything. Don't overkill it. But this is the generally how ozone works, all right? It's very, very powerful. It's very disinfecting uh, for anything you want to disinfect. I'll put the links down below to where I got these. The, the uh, oxygen, just go online for oxygen concentrated. It's called an oxygen concentrator. Again, make sure it's constant flow, not pulsed flow. Very, very important. Make sure these are cold Corona. I'll put the links for the, for, for this company down below. So you make sure you get the right one there. Um, and that's it. That's all. It's pretty simple. Oxygen goes into a machine. It gets zapped by high electricity, turns into ozone. You put that into the water. You bubble it for five minutes. And you drink the water and you've got purified water. Okay, so that's how we, that's how we roll in the, in the ozone world. All right, I hope you got something out of this and cleared up some questions. And um, Dr. Marcus will speak to you again in another video. Until then, have a great one. Stay healthy.